Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a little haul. So I've got a grocery shop that totaled to just under £35 to share with you. So I just thought we'd do the usual. I'll show you everything that I picked up from Lidl and then at the end we'll have a little look at the Lidl Weekly Special Buys magazine and this is from Thursday the 25th of June to Wednesday the 1st of July if I can speak. Um, so hopefully if you're watching this in time this will tell you what's going to be in store coming up and what good deals they've got. So I've come into the living room today. I don't know why I did that because it'd be a lot easier to film this in the kitchen. Anyway, here we are so we'll get straight into it. The first thing that I've got to show you are these um, pickled corn cornicons. Um, they're pickles essentially. These are delicious. I don't know if you've tried them but they're really nice to slice up and pop into salads and that sort of thing. You get a jar that is 370 grams and these are 77p. And I pop them in the fridge and they last for ages as well. So they're just nice to sometimes just have on their own as well as like a little snack. I got some of their British strawberries. I love these. I love having these for breakfast or just chop them up and pop them in a drink <laughs> or chop them up and just have them on their own. They're quite nice with um, yogurt and that sort of thing. And yeah, these are £3.75 and you get 400 grams of those. And the next thing that I got was some of these Neo biscuits. I eat these all the time now. They are one of my favourite things to have. And these are in little packets. So you get, I think it's five packets in here. And yeah, 180 grams in total. And these basically are like Oreos. Delicious. Nice with a cup of tea for a bit of dipping. Let me know in the comments. Do you dip your biscuits? I said, um, <laughs> I said on Instagram, are you a dunker? And I had a DM from somebody who didn't know what that meant. But it just means like when you dunk your biscuit into your tea, if you drink tea or a hot drink. So let me know, are you a dipper or a dunker, whatever you call it, if you do such <laughs> things. If you eat biscuits and if you drink hot drinks, are you a dunker or a dipper? We'll move on. Um, the next thing that I've got to show you are some kidney beans. You've seen me um, show you these many, many times and these are only 30p for a tin with the easy access lid. You know that I don't like fiddling about with tin openers in the kitchen and those are for my classic chilli that I love to make in the slow cooker. I got three limes at 25p each and I love to squeeze these into juices when I make smoothies in my Nutribullet. They're also good, obviously, to throw into a G&T, that sort of thing, or to make um, nice refreshing drinks with, to have outside. We're in for some fab weather. This week, when this goes up, I think we're going to be getting up to like 29 degrees here in London, which is fantastic, and it's sunny every day, which is fab. So let me know how the weather is where you are as well. They had these bottles of Carver on offer in store. So this is just their classic um, Carver. It's the dry one. Really, really good. And this was on offer at £3, £3.29 a bottle. So I stockpiled these. I got four bottles because I thought £3.29, it would be rude not to. I can pour a glass of this, get outside in the garden, bit of tapas. We can pretend we're in Spain. What are you saying? I got two large avocados. These are 95p each. I usually get the double pack of the medium size, but I fancy getting the big ones. And I've been having these on toast for breakfast. They're also really nice to go into salads as well. And they'll be, yeah, they feel like they're going to be right. But I hope they are. They're so hit and miss sometimes, aren't they, avocados? But hopefully they'll be all right. I've got some vitamin D tablets. These are 95p and you get um, 60 one-a-day tablets. It says it contributes to the maintenance of normal bones and teeth. I just wanted to make sure I'm getting my vitamin D. So I stocked up on these and I'll just be adding those into my kind of morning breakfast routine to make sure that I'm getting that bit of vitamin D while I'm making my smoothie and all of that kind of stuff. I've got some of this whitening toothpaste. This is 59p. It's a 125 ml tube and yeah I just find it really nice the I want to say flavor if that's the right word is good and yeah I feel like it really does the job and it's really reasonable the alternative that I would buy is probably something like Oral-B or Colgate in Poundland for one pound but when I'm in Lidl I do buy this own brand one and yeah I really like it so highly recommend that they've also got it in um, different flavors if that's the word I think, like different mints and that kind of thing. Oh, something just hit my window. I don't know what it was. 
but there's a mark on the window now. I hope it wasn't a bird. They had these British Jersey Royal Potatoes. Um, these were on offer at 79p when you go in as part of the four or five different fruit and vegetables that they have on special offer. I think normally they're over a pound, but yeah, 79p for a packet. And that is a 750 gram bag. I like making roast potatoes with these. I just chop them in half, put loads of olive oil on them, bit of salt, herbs in the oven. Delicious. I love the flowers that Lidl do, and I picked up these ones for $1.99. These, I'm not gonna be able to say this. <laughs> these are Alstromerias, I think. I don't know, but they're really pretty, and you get loads, and yeah, they always last really long as well. Nice in the tall bars, and for $1.99, nice bit of colour for around the home. I got some wholemeal pita bread. These are 42p, which is really good. You get six in a pack. And I like to put these in the toaster and then just chop them up and have them with hummus as a nice little snack or lunch kind of situation. Really quick and easy to do. I got two boxes of their organic eggs. These are class A mixed sizes. And it says that these are laid by hens, uh, fed on organic diet, free to roam on organic pastures during the day. And the sizes of these ones are quite good. So although they're mixed sizes, they're all quite big because the mixed sizes in M&S I'd say they're not mixed, or if they are mixed, they're mixed small to medium, <laughs> if that. <laughs> Probably mixed small, small to quail's egg kind of size in M&S. Just saying. So thank you for your mixed size organic ones, little for £1.25. They're really good. I got a loaf of the bread that I always get. I've started keeping this in the fridge um, throughout this hot period because I found that my bread was going mouldy. So... Yeah, make toast with this. Have it most mornings with some eggs on it. It's really, really nice, this bread. Can't say much more about this bread. I've spoken about this bread a lot in previous videos, so I'll stop saying the word bread now, but it is deluxe. It's wholemeal seeded farmhouse, and it's got eight seed blend going on. And this is 85p, if I remember correctly. What a sad little life that I know the prices of little off by heart. It's actually 75p, so I'll let myself off. <laughs> I got the Brista Premium Coffee that I always get. I go through this so quickly, and um, I probably have two or three of these every day. Is that a lot? And yeah, it's just the instant. And this is uh, two pounds 19, and you get 100 grams. I got some of these oat cakes for 79p. These are the lightly salted rice, sorry, rice cakes, not oat cakes. Um, ideal for snacking. Um, really nice just to have little snacks on, like soft cheese or a bit of avocado or whatever you fancy really. And then I also got um, some of these like fake Rivitas. So these are original rye crisp breads. These are 59p and you get 250 grams of those. I just went for the original ones, but they also have like seeded versions and that sort of thing. And yeah, 59p, really reasonable I think. And again, quite nice just to have as little snack options where you don't have like bread as a base for your would it be fancy? <laughs> and then I got some cherry tomatoes and you get 350 grams for 70p. And that is all of my shopping. So all of that came to just under 35 pounds. And I got one of these organic ginger shot cans. I've shown these a few times and I've been really enjoying these, especially mixed with some tonic water um, as a nice kind of refreshing drink with a little bit of a kick to it as well. Yeah, and they're 99p and these have got apple, um, ginger, and lemon in them. Really, really nice. So that is all of my shopping. That came to 34 pounds and eight pence. And now I'm going to take you through the Lidl magazine so we can have a look at what's coming up into store. Um, this is from Thursday the 25th of June to Wednesday the 1st of July. So first of all we have got on the front cover here we've got limes on offer, we've got mixed salad for 55p, the limes you get a bag for 69p, you've got, um, I don't know what that is, What's what vegetable is that? I forgot, it's 79p per kilogram anyway. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what that is. Um, we've got some large oranges for 99p. It looks like you get four in a bag. Snack peppers. I've never tried these, but I'm intrigued. So I might give those a go. 59p. And we've got nectarines. I do love a nectarine, a juicy nectarine. And those are 69p each. So I'm just going to hold this up for you so you can kind of see everything that's on here. But the first thing that's caught my eye is those miniature bottles of gin for £1.99. <laughs> they look really good. Um, we've also got Bex beers for £1.49 and then lots of different snack options. So if you're into crisps and that sort of thing, 
I mean, this looks like a kind of barbecue situation, but without the meat, doesn't it? Um, it's sort of all your drinks and your snacks, good to go. What else is catching my eye? Ringos, what are they? Haven't tried those either, but they look quite good. And you can get a big thing of Budweiser for 9.99 as well. So if you have got anything happening in your garden coming up, or you're having any outdoor, maybe picnics or that sort of thing, um, it looks like they've got some good stuff and that's from Thursday the 25th of June. They've got lots of ice creams in store. Um, the one that's caught my eye is the Dime ones. I feel like they could be quite a good shout. They've also got Ben and Jerry's for £2.49 a tub, which again, I think is a really good price. And they've got coconut milk ice cream dessert as well for £2.49, which um, looks quite nice. And then they've got these premium ice cream cones for, is that one ninety nine, pound forty nine. that look kind of like Cornettos. And also that, which is giving me rocket vibes, or is it Solero? Or a bit of both, they're called Space Runners. So I'm thinking like rockets, and they're pound nine for a 10 pack. <laughs> I'll have to get involved with those. From the 25th of June, it is Pet Week, and we have this incredible tent come bed sort of shade situation. It's almost like a trampoline. That looks so comfy. So it's called a dog bed with sunshade. Perfect for shady spot for your four-legged friend, 19.99. And it says it protects from the sun for up to um, 50 UV. So, and it's raised off the ground. So if your dog is getting hot outside, it looks like a really nice little place for your dog to chill out. That's really, really good. Um, and also you've got a dog pool here as well. So if your dog does like to have a little splash around, these are 29 99 Then you've also got some pet grooming sets and travel kits here. And you've got a dog treat puzzle. So maybe something that you could leave for your dog if you're going out for a couple of hours and you wanted to leave it something to keep it entertained. And then a dog agility set for 9 99 as well. So lots of different things if you have got a pet. I never ask you that actually. Let me know if you've got any pets. Let me know if you've got a cat or a dog or anything else. I'll be intrigued to know. Um, we've also got some cat stuff in store. So we've got a scratching post there for 9 99 and a really nice looking bed as well for 9 99 if you have got a cat. There's also a microchip cat flap. So I think these are the ones that will only open if the chip allows it to. Um, yeah, so it stops other cats um, roaming in, so it will only open with the little chip. So if you've got some other cats coming in and maybe you don't want them to, that could be a good option for you. And then the Grumpy Cat toys for £2.49. And then you've got lots of different uh, pet foods as well, all on different offers. They've got a shoe storage rack for £14.99, which looks quite decent. Looks like it would fit quite a lot of pairs on. And also a bagless uh, vacuum cleaner for £59.99. Let's see what the wattage is. 800 watt. I don't think that's that powerful. It's a 2.5 litre capacity. It says it's perfect for cleaning the stairs and animal hair. So maybe it's a slightly smaller one. So it could be handy if you've got a small space, but I'm not sure about the power on that one, to be honest with you. Um, we've got a washing hamper, that looks quite nice, for one, pa one pound <laughs> bargain, um, 9 99 and also a washing basket, which is really handy if you're transporting loads of washing to your washing machine, or out to the garden to hang it on the line for 4 99 Quite nice in the grey as well, it's not too unappealing, is it? Because those things can be quite ugly, let's face it. You've got a cordless steam iron for 24 99 by Beldre, I've not heard of that brand before, but let me know if they're any good. And then you've got some different clothes areas. So you've got an expanding one for 19 99 That seems quite expensive to me, but I guess it's quite big and it looks quite sturdy. And then an outdoors rotary dryer. Um, they do do a great job and they sort of spin around in the wind, don't they? And then you've got um, 10 clothes hangers for 3 99 Again, not sure if that's the best price, to be honest, but they look like they're quite good ones with grips on them, so. <laughs> I'll get my face out there. I don't think it's even focusing. Let me know if you've got this far. I feel like this bit's a bit random just going through the magazine with you, but I know some of you like it, so we'll continue. Um, dustpan and brush, 249. Now that looks quite nice. I'm quite impressed with that. And then we've got different scrubbers for um, 199 each. You can get these cheaper in places like Poundland, but they look like they're quite good solid ones. And then you've got a cordless window vacuum cleaner. For 19 99 I've got one of the Karcher window vacs and that's brilliant for getting condensation off the windows. I've actually done a video on that 
quite a while ago um, if you want to check it out. But um, that looks quite good. I feel like that could be a good thing. Could it? <laughs> or is it just a middle aisle thing that you probably don't need? then you see it and you want it. Would a squeegee be fine? Is that a bit excessive? I'm not sure. Um, we've also got colour active toilet rim blocks for £2.79 and we've got sponge scourers, a 10 pack for 99p. I feel like you can get those cheaper. And reed diffusers for £2.99 in white vanilla bean, sweet pea, pink sweet pea or crisp linen and lilac. I haven't tried those, seem like quite a good price. And then we've got some plants coming into store. We've got um, British lavender for 2 99 We've got dianthus, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but they look really pretty for one pound. And also hosta, I've got those in the garden. These slugs absolutely love those, but they're doing quite well at the minute and the slugs have stayed away. So you may have spotted those on some of my roof garden tours and those are 3 99 Really nice big leaves on those as well. And then we've got giant lavenders for £9.99 as well. Lots of nice plants coming in. Those are coming in from Thursday the 25th of June. On to some power tools. We've got a petrol multi-tool, four in one, steady on now. So this is a lawn trimmer, a strimmer, a hedge trimmer and a pruner. Wow, there's a lot going on there. I feel like you definitely would need your safety gear if you're going to <laughs> be using that. And that is £129. So if you've got a lot of bushes that need trimming, then that could be um, just right for you. We've also got some smaller um, trimmers. Um, so we've got a cordless one, four volt cordless grass and hedge trimmer for £14.99 if you've just got a few um, little bushes that need trimming. And we've got um, premium multifunction spray gun set for £7.99, spray gun for £3.99, a 20 metre hose set for £9.99 and a pop-up waste bin bag for £3.99. Oh, this is nice. They've got a rose arch or climbing column for £7.99. That seems like a good price to me. So if you've got anything that you want to encourage um, climbing, like some climbing ivy or some creepers or that sort of thing. Yeah, for 7 99 I think that seems like a good offer. If you've got kids and you've got the space for it, they've got an eight foot trampoline for 79 pounds. I feel like that's a good price for something of that size. And then they've got these little solar bird lights, two for 10 pounds, which look quite sweet. And then they've got some more outdoor lights. Now I've actually got these and a lot of people ask me where I got them from. They're LED bulb string lights and they are 9 99 and these are the ones that I've got strung outside on the roof garden. I've got two sets of them. The overall length is 13 metres and then 10 metres of that is the power cable, so you plug them in inside. So you get three metres of the lights and then, yeah, quite a long um, cable as well to plug them in indoors. So you can feed them inside and, yeah, plug them in so you're not worrying about relying on solar power and they light up the space really well and I've had them for a couple of years now and they've lasted as well. The plastic bulbs, they're not going to smash as well with energy saving. LEDs and a six hour timer automatic daily um, repetition as well if you want to put them on the timer. They've also got these bee and insect hotels which I think look really sweet and obviously great to encourage some bees and insects into your garden and they've got glow in the dark pebbles $2.99 I'm not sure what you do with those any ideas <laughs> maybe good for like lining a path with so you can see um, where the path is in your garden when it's dark. And they've also got these mosaic bistro tables, which I think look lovely. I'm not sure how big they are, but they are um, $14.99. And it says that they are 58 centimeters tall. So they're not too big, but maybe quite nice just to pop a little um, plant pot on or something like that. They've got an inflatable four person whirlpool hot tub for £299 and they've also got these inflatable pool loungers which look like loads of fun. I love these. In the past, you may have seen this if you've been reading my blog for a long time, it's a few years back, I did a review on my blog of inflatables because I love an inflatable in the swimming pool. <laughs> They're the best thing to sunbathe on in my opinion. I had an inflatable pizza slice from Lidl and let me tell you, that was probably one of the best 7 99s I've ever spent. I was living my best life on that pizza slice. I did actually leave it on the holiday that I was on and I gave it to a family and then the kids of that family were delighted. So it went on to 
have another life with the kids of the family that were by, by the pool because I couldn't quite fit it back into my luggage when it was time to go home. I might have to get a new one. I mean, that pineapple looks quite appealing. They've got pineapple, strawberry, popcorn bag, cactus, hello, and also ice cream cone or avocado. So many choices there. And yeah, for $7.99, I just think those are so much fun if you're going to be going on holiday or even just for sunbathing on in the park or something like that. And then we've got a hammock with a frame for £39, which I think seems like a really good price and would be really nice to relax on in the garden if you don't end up flipping out of it, which can happen, can't it, with those. And then we've got some UV sun protection tops. So if you're wanting to go out into the sun but also protect yourself from the harmful rays, you've got um, tops from sizes small to large at 4 99 and also uh, leggings as well from small to large for 5 99 And you've also got some adult aqua shoes. And there's a shade sale as well here for 19 99 which looks really good actually and looks quite stylish in that cream colour. So yeah, that's pretty decent. It's a UPF 60. Um, effective protection from the sun, lightweight polyester water repellent. That could be really nice for your garden if you are looking for a bit of additional shade. And then this looks so funny. Look at that. It's a portable uh, sun lounger and that's 19 99 It's got a little, <laughs> it almost turns into like a trolley. So you could stack that up, fill it up with rosé and wheel that down the park. And then you've got the little flap at the top to protect your face from the sunshine. Genius. I think I might need it. I don't need it. Children's parasol for four ninety nine, and we've got kids summer sets, um, so shorts and t-shirts and hat sets for four ninety nine, which seems really good value. And then there's more here, some of them that have um, UV sun protection in them as well, which is fab. Then you've got little aqua shoes as well, and some toys here too. Then onto the pick of the week, they've got um, chicken drumsticks, 1.4 kilograms for 3.99. British chicken breast fillets for 4.19. Um, that is a kilogram. You've got Irish stout beef burgers, 1.99 for 340 grams. Uh, 28 days mature British beef sirloin steak with porcini butter, 454 grams for 6.99, and cocktail prawns, 250 grams for. £2.49 and two smoked haddock fillets with Mornay sauce for uh, £3.29 and that is 290 grams. And then finally they've got the Super Weekends. So this is the one from the 26th to the 28th of June. They've got the extra virgin olive oil at 500ml in two varieties. They've got Greek and Italian at £2.29 um, for the 500ml. They've also got Italian hard cheese. Um, that is 150 grams or 125 grams for £1.49. They've got pica nuts 200 grams for £2.29 and dark chocolate chocolate 125 grams in raspberry salted caramel or almond and orange they all sound great actually for 74p so those sound like really nice things that you can pop into your basket if you are going into store anytime soon and then lastly they've got a wine on offer it's an australian chardonnay and it is on offer at two pounds 99 and that is everything in the magazine to show you that is my little grocery shop i hope you enjoyed it um, let me know if anything caught your eye let me know if you've been into little lately or if you're more an aldi person or maybe you don't shop in either maybe you don't have it near you but you just like seeing what fell into my shopping trolley but yeah i really hope you enjoyed the haul if you did do give it a little thumbs up and if you're new here do click subscribe for weekly videos don't forget you can always catch me over on instagram i post stories every single day on mr carrington i've also got my home account which is mr carrington home if you want to see more of the things inside my home and i also share any home decor bargains and that sort of thing over there but yeah i hope you're having a lovely week whatever you're up to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye